Good morning, my dear students. I am Muhammad Bahadin, working as an assistant professor in Highest Engineering College, which is affiliated to the Small University Hyderabad. So today in this session, so we are going to learn next problem on the full general bearing. A 75 mm long full general bearing of diameter 75 mm support, a load of 10 kilo newton. So here in this case, the length of the general bearing it is given as 75 mm, as well as the diameter of the general bearing it is given as 75 mm. The load is acting on the general bearing is 10 kilo newton load is acting on the general bearing the speed of the general is 1200 rpm so here n value is given the speed of general bearing is given here the 1200 rpm the speed of rotations of the general bearing it is given as 1200 rpm and the absolute viscosity of the oil is given as 10 into 10 power of minus 3 points and the diametrical clearance ratio is given over here is 0 0.001 so in this problem we need to determine the coefficient of friction by using petrov equation and second is mackey equation and third one is raymond and boyd curve so let us see over here so this is the length of the, first of all you have to write down the given data in which you have to represent that the length of the bearing is given here 75 mm and the diameter of the general bearing is, is given as 75 mm and the radius should be diameter by 2 75 by 2 then you will get the radius is 37.5 mm clear then the load is acting on the general bearing it is given as 10 kilo newton 10 as it is Kilo means 10 power of 3 newton. The speed of rotations of the bearing is, is given as 1200 rpm. N is equal to N by 60. 1200 by 60 then you will get 20 rps. And Z nothing but that is a dynamic frictions. Okay. Uh, Z is equal to dynamic or we can say as dynamic viscosity. Z is equal to 10 into 10 power of minus 3 points. So 10 into 10 power of minus 3, so 1 point is equal to 1 kg per meter, meter seconds. Is it right? After that, our intention is that we want to find out the diametric clearance. C by R is equal to C by D. Equal to pi equal to 0 0.001. It is already is key one. If you want to find out the radial clearance ratio, if you want to find out, so here R by C is equal to reverse over here diameter by c 1 by 5 so in 1 by 0 0.001 it become as 1000 so 1000 radial clearance ratio okay after that if you're finding the dynamic clearance as well as the radial clearance ratio we need to find out the coefficient of friction by the petrov equation so the coefficient of frictions of the with the help of Petrov equation, so you are to refer this equation from the page number 353 and equation is 15.4a. Or if you want to find out the bearing pressures, P is equal to W. Because our intention is there, we want to find out the value of P. Bearing pressure P equal to load by 2 into radius into length of the bearing. Or instead of this one, we can represent over here W by so 2 R represent by d okay diameter equal to 2 into or we can say that into n is it right so load is how much is there 10 into the power minus 3 we are using this formula okay 2 into okay dear 2 into here r is how much is there 37.5 length is how much is there 75 clear so if you divide this value then you will get the answer is p is equal to how much 1 point 7777 newton per mm square after that we want to we want to this value we need to add over here in the petrov equations f is equal to pi square 
by 0 0.5 into the power of 6 Zn by P. So Z is how much is there? Here dynamic viscosity is 10 into the power of minus 3 points into Again is how much is there? 20 by P is how much is there? 1.777 into Okay, R by C is nothing but 1000 we can represent Okay, so if you divide the whole the value then you will get the the Petrov equation the coefficient of frictions by the Petrov equation is how much is there? 0 0.0022163 clear then after that our intention is that we want to find out the coefficient of frictions by the Mackey equation we need to find out if you want to find out the coefficient of frictions by the Mackey equations you have to refer from the page number 353 and equation is 15.4 b clear then k value is 0 0.195 into the power of 6 for the full bearing is given delta f value is 0 0.002 for the full bearing it is given so if you want to find out the length of the bearing then you have to go for the page number of figure number 15.4 so l by d is equal to 0 0.75 to 2.8 in between we have to consider over here the ka value is how much is there 0 0.195 into 10 power of 6 z value is dynamic viscosity is 10 into 10 power of minus 3 into the speed of the rotations of the general is given over here is 20 by pressure is how much 1.77 into so radius of the clearance is thousands into 10 power of minus 10 plus delta f values already is given for the full bearing is 0 0.002 so if you calculate if you calculate the with the help of calci then you will get the answer is 4.1947 into 10 power of minus 3 so the coefficient of frictions by the Mackey's equations again the same thing that is the problem is completed so after that then we are going to discuss about the next problem determine the power loss for a petrov bearing 100 mm in diameter and 150 mm long so this means that in this case we need to find out the how much power loss for a petrov bearing bearing 100 mm diameter diameter of the bearing and 150 mm long of it is the radial clearance is given over here is 0 0.05 mm the speed of the general is 1000 rpm and the lubricating oil is we are using SA 10 lubricating oil we are using in this in this problem and the bearing operating temperature is given over here is 60 degrees celsius over here so first of all we have to write down here diameter d is equal to 100 mm radius should be how much it should be 50 the length of the bearing is this 150 mm and the clearance is how much is given 0 0.05 mm and the speed is how much is given 100 rpm so if you want to convert in minute to second that's just you need to divide by 60 100 by 60 then you will get the answer is 1.66 so we are using here yes a 10 oil we are using for that reason the operating temperatures we are using is operating temperature also given over here is 60 degrees celsius is given over here so if you want to find out yes a 10 at 60 degree temperature 60 degrees celsius the absolute viscosity we have to use the formula is z is equal to 14 c into p so first of all we have to refer from the viscosity chart of the different SA value so 14 into 10 power of 3 poise so 1 poise is equal to we can represent via kg per meter per seconds after that the radial clearance we need to find out r by c r is how much is the radius is 50 is the clearance is how much is the 0 0.05 if you divide the value then you will get the radial clearance value is 1000 so after that if you are getting the value of the radial clearance we need to find out the coefficient of frictions by the petrov equation we need to find out so if you want to find out the coefficient of frictions by the petrov equation then you have to use the formula f is equal to pi square by 0 0.5 into the power of 6 zn by p r by c so you have to refer from the page number 353 equation is 15.4 clear then if you want so in this problem we need to find out the same bearing pressure we need to find out so p is equal to w by 2 rl or w by dl we can say that so in this problem we are using this value w by 2 rl okay 
W by 2 into R. R radius is how much is given? 50. L is how much length of the bearing is 150. So after that, 1 by 2 into 50 into 150. If you divide, then, then you will get the answer is 6.666 into 10 power of minus 5 W Newton per m minus square. After that, we need to substitute this value of P in the Petrov equations. Okay, so if you substitute in this Petrov equation, so this is our Petrov equation in which we need to substitute this value. Okay, F is equal to pi square by 0 0.5 into 2 of 6 and then Zn by P. Here, Zn is how much is there? 14 into 10 per of minus 3. And P is how much is there? 6 point. Okay, okay, 6.66. So, sorry. The n value is how much is there? 1.66 by. So P is how much is there? 6.66 into 10 prof minus 5 W into here is given R by C value is how much is given? R by C value is 1000. Clear by here? Here into 1000. If you divide as less if you are, if you are calculate with the help of Calci then you will get the answer of answer is coefficient of frictions by the Petrov equations is 6.90. Clear? 1 by W. After that, we need to, our main intention is that we want to find out the how much power loss due to the frictions in the bearing we need to find out. So if you want to find out the Hg is equal to F, nothing but the coefficient of friction by the Petrov equations into W into the rubbing velocity. Okay. So if you want to find out the V rubbing velocity, V equal to pi dn by 1000, pi as it is d nothing but how much 100 into n how much is there 1.66 by 1000 if you divide the whole the value then you will get the wrapping velocity is 0 0.5233 meter per second after that you need to substitute in the above value so in the substitute in the heat generated formula f the coefficient of friction is how much is there 6.90664 1 by w into w as it is into be how much 0 0.5233 this w and this w will cancel after that if you multiply this value then you will get the answer is h is 3.614 this again 1 4 clear i hope so no one is having the dot in this problem if you have the dot is if you have the small dot also you can write down in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you